deal. No big deal. But it's really bugging me. I can't stand it. Me neither. Don't you ever change clothes? No. Don't you ever mind your own business? Ooh. What's the problem? I'm going nuts because I was going to tell you guys something, and I can't remember what it is. It just went out of my mind. If you stop trying to remember, you will. That's sort of what my story is about. What? Tucker going out of his mind? No, about memories. But not any memories. It's about the kind we share. These are things that inspired some of my stories. This is my grandmother's. It helped me come up with the tale of the long ago locket. And this is my brother's school ring. It helped create the tale of the dream girl. And this... Watcher's Woods! Watcher's Woods, exactly. And that's my point. A lot of memories are shared. We look at this stuff and we think of the same things. That's important because it brings us together as friends. But can you imagine if we didn't have these memories? It would be like we had no past and no friends. And the future would be just as empty and lonely. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society. I call this story Tale of C7. Jason and his sister Lisa were real happy their mom quit her job to start her own business. That is, until they found out what and where that business was going to be. You dragged us a million miles from civilization and our friends for this? You haven't seen the good part yet. <laughs> oh, just wait till you see this. Ta-da! Oh, well. Isn't it just heaven? I don't know. Is heaven a place where nothing happens? Oh, I think it's great. It used to be called Homestead Inn. This was a happening place once, and we are going to bring it back. I've got a contractor lined up, and I've got a meeting with a loan guy at the bank this week. Think we can make it back to the city in this? No one's going anywhere in that. And you, I want you to stay off the dock till we get your life jacket. Mom! Hey, you're the one that didn't want swimming lessons. Hey, don't look at me. Oh, come on, guys. This is our big chance. We can have our own business and be our own bosses. It's gonna be great. Come on, what do you say, you with me? What do you want this one, boss? Oh. Uh, oh, it doesn't matter anywhere. Right. Uh. Ah, it's stuck. Here, let me try. It's weird, it's not locked. <laughs> yeah, so then why won't it? Oh! What'd you say about this place just needing a coat of paint and some elbow grease? You're dreaming.
What music? It came from down there. What it was. Maybe it was the sound of the waves or the wind in the. Lisa? Lisa, what's up? Can't you hear the music? I told you. There's a bunch of nothing back here. Maybe not. What is it? A jukebox. An old one. Is it where the music came from? I doubt it. Do you think it works? Well, there's only one way to find out. Okay, here we go. A2? Sure. It works! Oh, listen to that. It sounds really old fashioned. <laughs> yeah. Must bring back a lot of memories, huh, Mom? Hey! I wasn't even born when that came out, thank you very much. <laughs> well, so much for the gold moldies. So much for the wiring. Oh, if it's bad, it'll cost a fortune to rewire this place. Uh, it's probably just a loose connection. You know, if we got more old stuff like this, we could give the place kind of a retro feel. It might be cool. Cool? Uh, did I hear something positive for a change? Yeah, well, it might be kind of fun to see how it all works. Uh, cool and fun. I am dreaming. <laughs> hey. Here you go. Let's leave Mr. Fix-It alone before he changes his mind. Okay. Oh. Right. Now all we have to do is get some half decent records. Hello? Ah! Oh! Jason, you've got to stop doing that. Did you see that girl? What girl? 
She was right there. You must walk right by her. No one's here. You're not getting strange on me, are you? Right there, I swear, the exact same girl. Well, maybe you were sleepwalking. You did that when you were little. How does sleepwalking make a girl appear out of nowhere? The windows, please. And I think we could do without talk about how this place is haunted. Haunted? Here? Oh, no, honey, we don't believe in ghosts, do we? <laughs> Especially ones that might devalue this prime piece of real estate. When you're finished, I've got some stuff for you to do upstairs. Your boss can't wait. Nothing like country living, huh, Lise? Up on the dock for Mumsies. Too late. And I never want you down by the water alone. Do you understand? Yes. And I want you to keep a closer eye on her while I am gone. Mum, she was talking to a ghost. Well, she has a vivid imagination. Yeah, and I'm a sleepwalker. Come on, Mum, this is weird. Something's really going on. Have you any idea how much lakefront property like this normally costs? The only reason that I was able to afford this place was because of the stories. I knew it. This place really is haunted. No, it just has a history. Oh, gosh, I've got to go. My meeting's in less than an hour. You can't just leave now. What kind of history? All right. The real estate agent told me this story, but it's just a story, so I don't want you going and telling Lisa, okay? I won't speak. Just after the Second World War, they were getting ready to throw a big welcome home party here for a local boy who'd been sent overseas. His girlfriend lived across the lake and she organized the whole thing. But the night of the party, they got a telegram saying that, well, the boy wasn't coming back. Ooh, sad. Yeah, it gets worse. There was a storm that night and his girlfriend's canoe washed up on the shore, empty. It's all so tragic. Lisa saw a girl in a canoe. Maybe it's the ghost of... Don't even say it. 
A lot of girls paddle canoes. Yeah, and sneak in here at night to play records and disappear? Reality check. There are no such things as ghosts, and I refuse to blow this opportunity because of some sad old story. I will be back in a couple of hours. Mom. I am sorry, honey. I'm sorry, I don't believe it. Okay, how about this one? On, there's just a few more. Who cares what song she was singing? Well, maybe she does. I want to see if it'll bring her back. How about this one? Something's stuck. C7. Hold on. C5. Okay. C6. Okay. C7. The thing that lifts the jam. Let me a screwdriver. Lise, you want to hand me the... Forget it. Storm. I have to warn her. Okay, got it. Okay, Lise, hit C7. Hit C7, would you? Lisa? Lisa. Oh, no! Yeah, it's an emergency. Okay, my sister's out on the lake. I think she's trying to find this ghost of a woman in a canoe. Yeah, a ghost. She's been haunting this place because her boyfriend never came back from the war. No, this isn't a prank. Wait. Hello? Where's Iris? Did she wait for me? Where is she? Tommy? Excuse me, buddy. song again.
Thank you. <laughs> we have got to stop scaring each other like this. Mom! What? But they were... What? Lisa. Jason, what's going on? Don't you dare tell me she went out in that. Lisa! Lisa! You were supposed to look after her. I told you to look after her. She was right there, Mom, I swear. And it's Lisa! 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 Lisa, where have you been? It's okay. She told me everything was all right. And then she brought me back. <sighs> well, what are you talking about? The lady and her boyfriend. Uh, they brought me back to shore. It's getting cold. Let's get inside, okay? I got a great idea for this main room. We can make it like a cafe or a bar, you know, for like weddings, welcome home parties, stuff like that. It'll be great. Nobody ever saw another ghost around Homestead Inn. But Jason would always remember Iris and Tommy and the song from their past that finally brought them together. But memory was all he had. Because after that night, Jason could never get C7 to play again. That's it! What's it? The thing I couldn't remember. I heard there's a big storm coming tonight. Now you remember? I declare this meeting of the midnight.